Hey everyone, Dr. Baron Grutter here. Um, I get a, I get one question. I get lots of questions that come like sort of uh, consistently, but one of them that comes more often than not is a question about how we might be able to make a three D printable temporary, um, a, ideally ahead of time before surgery. So um, this video and actually set of videos, I think I'm I'm planning on making three different videos to sort of break it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go over two different techniques. There's probably um, a dozen um, techniques that could be used. I'm going to highlight two of them that I think uh, you know, seem to be the most, um, I don't know, uh, most concise to me and most efficient. So, um, so here we go. Uh, in this first video, I'm just going to show you, um, this is going to be a combination of Blue Sky Plan and Mesh Mixer. So the first video is, is basically going to be how what we need to export from Blue Sky Plan. And as you can see, in this case, I've already planned my implant. Um, uh, here's our whole view of the surgical plan. This, in fact, this surgery, this implant has already been placed. This guy is ready to be restored. And so I went ahead and made a temporary so I can uncover, place the temp, and begin training that tissue uh, in preparation for the final uh, crown. So anyway, um, this first video is just going to highlight, it's just going to discuss what we do in Blue Sky Plan to allow us to do the actual um, design, if you will, in Mesh Mixer. So first of all, if you uh, take a look, I've already got, uh, obviously, like I said, the implant in place. I've got a tooth, a virtual tooth that's a, sort of a wax up. I did the add uh, tooth here. And then I just made sure that instead of picking just teeth caps, I picked one with the, with the roots. I've already gone through and scaled it to size. I'm not gonna go, we've got plenty of videos out there on how to do that. Just notice that there's positive contact on both proximal surfaces. We want that. Um, and other than that, it, you know, it's good to go. It, you know, the implant is not perfectly centered within the root. That's okay. Um, it's just not always going to be that way. I could rotate the root more, but then the crown will be different. So that's okay. Um, sometimes it'll be perfect, sometimes it, or close to perfect, sometimes it won't. It's probably good that it's not in this video because it'll help me to give you, um, you know, figure out how to do things a little uh, differently. So, all right. So what we've got here in Blue Sky Plan, we need to export a few things. We need to export the model. We need to export the virtual tooth, and we need to export the um, implant abutment. So let me hide the tooth, and let me even hide the model, and you can see that the implant has the abutment on it already. And let's go ahead and turn off the implant. The implant is actually off. Uh, since there is only one implant, it kind of hides it, uh, shows it a um, little different, but uh, don't worry about that. It's, it's okay. First thing I'm going to do, though, I am going to turn the, the model back on. This step right here is not necessary to do in Blue Sky Plan. It's just a lot easier. So I'm going to come down to Model Manipulation, and I'm just going to click Close Model. Make sure that it's the correct model is selected up here if you have more than one model. Uh, close Model. This is just going to give me a solid model. It's going to be based. Honestly, I haven't um, tested this yet here. I mean, I've, I change my settings from time to time, so it might be too... Yeah, perfect. Good. Um, the... Uh, Looks like the tooth sticks out of it. That will have a play a small role in the future, but that's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and turn off the original model. So we've got the tooth. The tooth. Uh, the model is visible. It's checked. The tooth is obviously visible, and the implant. The only thing that's checked is the abutment. Okay. So we're done. We're done with Blue Sky Plan. We need the model, the tooth, and the abutment. Go to File, <coughs> Export Data, and you can confirm. Modified model, you've got the abutment, and you've got the central incisor. Now, I don't recommend checking this box. You can. You certainly can. I just don't think it's necessary. I'll show you why. Uh, that would separate. That would um, export three different STLs. We're just going to export one STL, and I'll, you'll see in just a moment why. So click on Export, figure out where we're going to put this, and I'm going to say that I'm going to call this, um, well, a folder within a folder. Um, we're going to call this immediate temp hyphen nine for tooth nine. Okay. And it's exported. Okay. Now, if I had had an opposing model, I would have exported it as well. So just keep that in mind. I don't have it in this case, but um, I would use that if I was going to be using opposing occlusion and whatnot. So go ahead and minimize this. And here is this folder right here, go to temp crown. This is the immediate temp nine. Here is the STL that I just exported. 
Again, I could have exported them as three separate files. I'm not going to simply because, like I said, just a matter of preference. I've got one file here. I'm going to separate all three parts in here. Uh, if I didn't do that, I would just have to drag and drop them and bring them all into one file. So anyway, to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to click on the S button or select. Double click anywhere on the model. It selects the whole thing. I press the Y button. That will separate it from everything else. Go ahead and rename that. Maxilla. Now this part actually has the tooth and the abutment, so I'm going to select, double click that. Y, name that the um, tooth. If I hide both the tooth and the model, you see the only thing that's left is the abutment. So I might as well rename that abutment. So again, I could have exported all three different things by themselves, but now I don't have to have multiple files in this folder. I just have them all separated within this uh, project here. So anyway, I'm going to cut this video off here. That should be, um, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll get us started up for the next two steps, which are the two different ways to make a temp.